What's up guys, my name is Brennan Myers and today we're gonna to be touching on the five biggest mistakes you're making and the reason why your biceps are just way too small. Okay, so when we talk about the five biggest mistakes, first off, I just wanna say, the biggest mistakes people make is thinking that they can only build big biceps or any muscle with only the gym and weights, and that's completely wrong. Resistance is resistance. You just have to change the arm length, anything with intensity, rep ranges, and you will build muscle. So body weight training is the way to go. Functionality does work. So let's just jump right into it. Number one, your rep range is off and it needs to be somewhere around six to 13 repetitions when you're training with full range of motion. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. They do these half bicep curls on the, or head bangers on the pull up bars. They do these half inverted rows and they're just stop cutting the motion, do the repetition six to 13 reps and you will make it happen. It's it's not gonna be 25 reps, it's not gonna be three repetitions, six to 13, stay within that rep range, okay? Next is going to be your intensity of movements is just lacking. You're not being explosive enough. You're not being aggressive enough. Every movement needs to be fast, quick, and you have to really use that in your training properly, the whole structure, just like we do in Body Evo, in order for you to see great results. So, good technique. This also comes down to it perfectly good technique with that explosiveness, you will get incredible results. Now the third is going to be your nutrition. Your nutrition is just crap and this is really holding you back in many areas. Everyone talks about macronutrients, but what about your micronutrients? You have vitamin C for instance. Very important, helps with building that connective tissue. You can get this from sources like orange juice or even green peppers. So make sure you're getting your vitamin C. Magnesium is another one. It helps with a healthy bones and heart. You can really, really really see incredible results when you have your magnesium in your system. Remember, you're depleting these types of minerals and vitamins when you're training, so get them in, okay? So this is that, that's number three. Number four is going to be your rest periods are just off. And just like your repetitions, you remember six to 13 repetitions, your rest periods are so, so important. You don't wanna be resting like 10 minutes. You don't wanna be resting 30 seconds. You don't wanna fatigue yourself so quickly that you don't have the power to be able to perform those six to 13 repetitions. So remember, 45 seconds to one minute and 30 seconds. That's gonna be very, 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 very important. And then two minutes, like if you wanna go two minutes, that's okay. Or just resting a little bit longer until you feel like your arms are well rested and you're ready to go, okay? And there's one more that we have to touch on and that's your movements are limiting you. And this is a big, 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 big one. You can't just do the same movement over and over again. It's called the gas theory. You get used to the movement, you're no longer alarmed and your muscles just keep on going through the same motions it's the same thing over and over again. It's just like going to Chipotle a hundred times in a row. Once you go to Chipotle a hundred times, you're sick of the food. Your body's going to be sick of the movements and you have to switch it up. So what are you gonna do? Focus on two to three different exercises within your movements. This is going to be imperative for your gains and overall muscle strength in the end and obviously size, so important. And then also isolation. When you can isolate all of your bicep, right? Because remember, bicep, two. Two muscles, part of that bicep. You wanna make sure that you're isolating them, which means you're using less of your other muscles. So let's say you're in a, um, a chin up, right? You're not gonna be stretching out like this, trying to get all the way up. No, you're gonna contract and make sure that you're going more into flexion of that tricep, because guess what that's gonna do? Put more strain on that bicep. So you can do inverted rows, head bangers, different movements that help with your biceps. And once you get this down and you stop making these five same mistakes, you will see incredible results in your biceps and in your arms. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. You can find all of this really cool information in my Body Evo program. Baller out there. Kids all around the world are following it. I'm super excited to be a part of that. Thanks so much for tuning in for this informative video. Remember, I'm doing all types of videos now. I don't want to just keep it with vlogs. I want to do it all. Let's keep on grinding. Let's keep on getting better. Let's keep on moving forward. In calisthenics fam, I love you, and I'll see you next time. Peace.